You want some of this, alien? Taste my net gun. What the heck is this? It's my secret attack, the net launcher. Oh, so what you're saying is you're in the keepy stuff. Oh my god, I say, I kind of like it. Um, you know what? I don't feel like fighting anymore. See you later, man. I'm out. But wait, I thought we had something. Hey, Rangers, welcome to Super On Poor Reviews. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today we'll be going over the NECA Alien vs. Predator Grid vs. Celtic Rivalry Reborn 2 pack. We'd like to thank NECA for making this review possible. All right, Steve. Two questions. One, why are we doing this one first? This is going to be the worst one. It has the most accessories, most everything. Because it's literally the awesomest one ever. All right, so I got a solution for that. Okay. Let's just not unbox this. Uh, I think we have to unbox this. No, we just be like, oh man, this is amazing from the outside. Thank you guys. No. Even though, <laughs> I agree with you because I already have both of the older versions of them. I'm actually still excited to open these guys because for me, this feels like the more definitive version of them because they now appear like how I remember them from the best scene in the movie, which is them two fighting. But Steve, if we just go over the box and then use the... No, I don't want dislikes. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen the movie, I actually really enjoy it. Some people don't. I could completely understand. But so far, the figures that have come out of this movie from NECA have been awesome and are actually my favorite figures to come out of their line, at least in terms of Alien and Predators. So knowing that actually gets me even more excited to be open these guys because mostly these are going to be just slightly tweaked versions of figures we've previously gotten. But I still want to know what is new on these figures. I can tell you what he's missing on this figure, Steve. A personality. A tail. No, he has. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, without further ado, for the packaging. I love this packaging overall because you have the alien on the bottom. Predator also on the bottom to show both sides. You have the text on the bottom to tell you exactly what's going to be going on when you guys are going to be unboxing these guys from their prison. You can see the accessories on the inside, and also you can see the net on there as well, which actually kind of gives a little bit more dynamic in the background. Not too much else going on on these sides because it's all this clear translucent plastic. On the back, just gives you them in some dynamic poses that we remember seeing from the film. Every freaking other figure in the line, I still want that guy. And if you guys want to read the description real quick, I will let you. All right, we're good. All right, and... Some Lego Mumbo Jumbo. So let's get these guys open up out of their plastic prison. All right, so now that we got these guys open up out of their plastic prison, first we're gonna go over their accessories, starting with the grid aliens. Which the grid alien hey, comes- Hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, Steve. We get an alien with an accessory? We got an alien with an accessory, which is his severed tail. <laughs> I think that's the first time we have ever gotten an alien with an accessory. Yeah, usually it has something that attaches to the alien, but no, you get to have the tail that the grid alien lost during the fight between him and the Celtic Predator. So you know what that means, right, Steve? We're making us a spear? Yes. Sweet. But for the details for the tail, it's made out of the same material as what we have with the tail, which it is bendable, but there is no wire on the inside of it, so it's going to rest back into place. But the detailing on it's really nice where you have that same metallic blue shine that you see on the alien with the dark gray undertones. And also on the end... You can see the bone on the inside for the alien tail with some of his green acidic blood sticking out on the end, which looks freaking awesome. Though I kind of wish, getting into the alien slightly, the alien's tail, you can see at the end, also has the little circular shape on the inside to represent the bone. And the green blood sticking on the outside, I kind of wish you could put them together. I don't know why, I just kind of feel like that's a thing. But even though if you line it up to look kind of normal, it's not going to do it. Maybe we just need to get some sticky tack, Arnaz. That'll work. Sticky tack. But I do think it's pretty cool. You could have your great alien holding onto his tail. Kind of <laughs> like a lost lover. Like, why did you take this from me? <laughs> Try to stab other predators with it or something. He's got a knife now. Oh, he's prison so rules. We just we need a prison a bit for him, Steve. <laughs> exactly. Just like, please no. And then moving on to the Celtic Predator accessories. For the most part, he comes with some of the same stuff that you've seen with the original release, which he comes with the throwing disc with the extended blades, which overall looks really nice, just like the previous version where you have this really nice shiny metallic silver with these little bronze inlays on the inside of the blades. Overall, pretty nice. And high note, 
The Celtic Predator does come with the hand so that you can pinch the blade in between his fingers, which is really nice. Though sadly, it doesn't come with any other extra hand accessories, but if you do own any other versions of the AVP Predators, you can swap out the hands between each and every one of them. Oh, we should paint one red and get Andrew to make us like a model of a girl and we can just impale her to the wall with that one. Can it be April? Oh, that's not a bad idea. You know what I'm talking about for the AVP too, right? Yeah. Oh, we need an April now. <laughs> We're going to Walmart. He also comes with this little short sword or what you could also call a dagger, which goes onto the bottom of his right leg sheath, which does go on the inside of there very nicely, even though I think I put it in backwards. There we go. But for the details for the little sword here, got some dog silver here for the blade with some really nice serrated edges and even uh, slightly separated on the inside of there, which kind of makes me feel like this could break pretty easy. That's why you put it in there, Steve, so you don't lose it or break it. <laughs> well, I even mean like just like attacking an alien, you know? Because for the most part, out of all the ones I have and how many times for pictures and stuff I've been putting on the in and out of the scarabs, I haven't had any problems with these figures at all. And then for the handle here, it has a little bit more of that bronze on the tip here around where the hilt would normally be with some leather wrapping and a little tooth on the end. Or claw. Not 100% sure what that's supposed to be. And then finally, he comes with a net for his net gun, which is actually pretty sweet because it has these little clasps on the end here, which for the clasp here, they're made out of this metallic silver. And what you could do is you can push them together to sort of lock it in and you have two pairs. So what this does is when you pull it together, you can close the net. Now I wouldn't recommend using these for hanging off something, but it does kind of make a nice little tying effect if you want to say have the predator holding onto these and make it look like he's dragging the alien. <laughs> that would be a cool picture. But just be very careful because this is very thin plastic here so you don't want to cause too much stress because even when you have them together it does feel like it flexes a little bit. So when you're going to be using this with the predator make sure it's going to be with the alien either safely secured on the ground or onto something and not using this for the alien's weight. And now we can take our alien and pshew. You missed Steve. I failed. One more time. Eh, there we go. We can take our alien, wrap him up, and then extend these in. And now he's trapped inside of the net. And then for the net, just made out of this stretchy little fabric. I'd just be a little bit careful with this because too much pulling, you're going to tear the net. And also, random parts of the alien might catch in the net. So when you have it overlaying on top of the alien, just be very careful when you start trying to get it off, not to tug too much on random parts, especially, say, the nails here, because it might eventually cause wear and damage on the net, which we don't want to see happen. Which, overall, great accessories, especially what you want to replicate the scenes from the film. Because personally, now that I have both of these, I want to have the Celtic Predator just standing over the great alien right before he escapes out of the net and finally dispatches his rival. And the Celtic Predator also comes with some blades. You might notice that the blades are a little fudged up. Melted, if you will. Because these are from when he sliced off the great alien's tail. No, they just send us in broken stuff, Steve. Oh, I thought it was cooler than that. <laughs> <laughs> But I think it's really cool that it comes with these accessories because it's something that replicates very nicely from the movie. And with the Predator that we have, it really makes sense because he's already missing part of his armor. Like, why not actually have the fudged up blades as well? And then you can also swap out any blades for any of the Predators. So if, say, if you don't want to have this on this particular version, if you have the previous one, you can just use the gauntlet blades from those. But what you do is you just insert them into the forearm here might want to be a little bit careful you don't have to worry about as much on these because these are a little bit smaller than the other blades but it's still really thin plastic so you don't want to put too much stress on it if you have a little bit of a hard time getting these in i recommend using a hair dryer hair dryer does wonders but the blades do look really good on this predator love the overall corroded effect that they have going on with it and is a solid addition to this predator and then for a closer look at the great alien first wait 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 why are we doing a grid alien first, Steve? There's got to be a reason. Because I love this thing. The reason why I love this thing is NECA, listen to me. NECA, 
finally <laughs> listened to me. <laughs> because in a previous video, I had only one complaint for the Great Alien when it was released. The only thing that might have been cooler is they actually used a translucent dome like they do on all the other aliens for this section here. Grabbing the other alien real quick, you notice here he has this really nice translucent dome. You know how much sweeter this would have been if it would have had that with these little grids on it? And they fixed it! Look! Translucent dome! You can see the alien skull on the inside while also having the grid pattern on the top and it looks phenomenal. Really love the change between this one and the previous great alien we have because this, just this, was something I really wanted to see happen and they did it. And we also get the damaged tail which is the other thing that I primarily remember from the great alien. So for me, just in terms of the two added little details, because for the most part, I'm going to go over it briefly, but the rest of this is pretty much the exact same as what we got with the previous grid alien. And that's perfectly fine for me. And then to go over the details real quick for the head, looks exactly like we see from the film. Really love the veins you can see on the side of the xenomorph's head. The translucent dome looks awesome with this really nice frosted black on the side of the head with this trademark grid pattern on the top and a very nice lime green color scheme to represent the acid blood. Has a very nice snarl on the front of his mouth, nice metallic silver for the teeth. You also have his little mini mouth on the inside, which is extendable and also has some metallic silver on the mini mouth as well and in this very dark black color scheme. For his body, looks really good. You can see his rib cage on the front his super giant straps on the side of his shoulders with that same grip pattern that we got from the net on the side here and actually is molded on the tops of the straps here on the arms here though they're painted on top but that works really well for me because this is primarily where the net would have sunk in so of course you're going to see the most damage here on the shoulders here, it's only going to be slightly damaged, mainly just flesh wound, so I wouldn't expect it to be deep cuts on the arms right here. But on the straps, so it's really cool to see those little indentations for the cross cuts. Arms look very nice as well, have a lot of really nice molded details. You can even see a little bit of the, what I like to call the membranes on the intersections of the forearm here. Hands look really nice too, with its four claws with some metallic silver here for the nails, and also the fingers are a little bit bendable. And then starting to move down towards the legs, waist looks really good, where you can even see a little bit more of that bone pattern coming in towards his pelvis region. Then on his back, you have his giant tube stockings coming up, which are super gigantic, but I love them. You even have what appears to be little suction cups on the under sections here, which look really good and really help to add to that little extent of detail. And you can see his spine coming down the back of the alien's back and then extend into his tail, which I love how thick this alien's tail is. Looks really good. Also has that really nice bony segmenting coming out throughout the entirety of the tail. And it expands just a little bit right before we get to the tip where the tail blade, is what I like to call it, gets severed off. Then for his legs, you get that nice little crest on the top section of the thigh. Some more of that nice membranes on the inner sections of the thigh as well. And then for the rest of his legs, really good. You can even see a little bit of the calf muscle here. And he has his four little toes on the bottom of his feet, which also have some metallic silver paint for the nails as well. And on the bottom of his feet, you got two little peg holes if you want to hook them into a stand. Is there a stand for them? Uh, there are stands you can buy from NECA. Oh, okay. Which it, all that really does is just help to give it an added base for added support. But I feel like if you have the tail just sitting on the ground, he stands up pretty well by himself. Then for his articulation, his mouth can move up and down. We did go over the inner mouth, but I'll show you guys one more time. Is that it can extend outward, but on these smaller alien figures, it's a little bit of a fight, but it's nothing uncommon for these guys. His head can look that far up, that far down, can look left to right, but does get stopped by his straps on the side of his head, but that's still a lot of range of motion there. His arm, shoulder, go up about that far, down about that far, all the way around. Elbows on a double joint, so you can bend them in that far, straighten them that far. Also has a rotation at the elbow, rotation at the hand. Fingers can move in and out because they are on a hinge joint. For his waist, can bend down about that far, up about that far, rotate all the way around, and has a little bit of a wiggle to it. Legs can move out about that far, inwards about that far. Has a 
Really nice forward <laughs> kick. Oh, <laughs> that is epic. Really nice back kick. Has a bend here at the knee. Can also rotate at the knee. Also has a little bit of a rotation at the top part of the thigh. And then for his double joint his knee, can bend in pretty much all the way touching his thigh, which is really nice to see. Straightens up about that far. For his feet, can rotate all the way around. Has a little bit of a wiggle to it, because it's on a ball joint. And a little articulation at the toes. And his tail, it has a bendy wire, so it pretty much bends however you want. I just worry a little bit over time that the wire can break on the inside. But with this tail being super thick, I don't worry about the wire popping out though, so. Positive. Moving on to the Celtic Prayer's details. Actually has a decent amount of updated appearance to him. Because just for starters, and I'm actually going to grab the other Celtic Predator just to show you guys a little bit of the differences here. Alright, so after grabbing the original Celtic Predator, compared to the new one, you can already see that the paint job between the helmets is different between the two. With the new version actually having a little bit more of a darker wash underneath the very light metallic silver that we see on the top. Which really helps to show a little bit more of the depth of the details on the mask. It also helps to make the eyes stand out a lot more. Because even when I got them out of the packaging, I started noticing the little colors of the bronze on the front section of the mask and on the little tubes on the side here. Which I never really noticed quite as well on this one, but it is there. They gave you see a little bit of red here for his little laser sight on the side of his mask. Which you don't see on the original version. Also has the slashes on the front that he got from Groot Alien, the combat, which is really cool. And on the top here too, you'll notice that you can see a little bit more of the skin detail on the new version than you could on the previous. Then for the armor transitions, the exact same as what we saw with the original, which you can see a lot more of the undertones on the newer Celtic Predator's armor than you could on the original. The only thing is, is on the net launchers, I actually kind of like what they did with this one because it makes the silver stand on the little bulbs on the inside of the net gun a little bit more than you see on the new version. And I feel like that's the major takeaway from the details here. On the opposite side, you'll notice that he's missing his right shoulder pad armor. But he still keeps the bicep armor and has his gauntlets on his right forearm. And then for the waist section, literally the exact same between the two. And for the most part, most everything else is the same between the original and the new one. Just in terms of detailing, the black wash is a lot nicer on the new version than it was on the previous one. Which is saying something because I love the original one. But I do like the updated little details that we see on the new version. And then most of the rest is the same as the original, so we'll just go over it. Which we have his little tubes coming out of the side of his head. Which just pretty much sit in the back of the armor here. Just kind of hides in the tendrils. Which is kind of cool, is they still have the segmenting here, which I expected to see. But if you actually wanted to remove the plasma caster from the original version, you can attach it onto the back of this one. Same with the C-clamp for the other side, if you wanted to take it off of one of the other ones to be able to attach the spear to them, you can do that as well. But first tendrils look really nice too. Has this very matte black coloring with some bronze here for some of the little caps and some metallic silver for the rest of them. For his right arm, has the two little armor platings for his shoulder and his bicep. Has his nut gun, which the details on it are very nice though. Looks really good overall. Hands on the Predator look really nice as well. And same with for the body type for this guy. He has this very light yellow color scheme with some blacks and browns here for the darker sections of the Predator. And you can even see the net details on the front, which is pretty trademarked for most every other Predator. And what's cool too is you can still see the little leather strap that you see on the under section of the armor coming across the chest here. So you can definitely see how the armor is assembled on this guy. Oh, I just noticed that you can't see that on the other one. Nope. And you can also see the neck a lot better too. The, oh, 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 that's nice. The insulation that you see on the underneath. And for his back, same armor plating that we saw on the previous one with some leather here for his loin cloth going around his groin region. Also have some metallic flaps here. Looks really good. You can also see his accessories lining his belt here as well. Which is the same as what we have on the previous one, but you do see some of the retracted throwing disc on there. And some little ammo packs and whatnot. Then for his legs, you have the nets coming down his thigh. Got some added bulges for the muscles. Looks really sweet. This guy definitely did not miss leg day. Then for his bottom of his legs here on his calves, 
You have some armor plating here as well. You got his little dagger scarab and his little claws on his feet, which is mainly for traversing icy climates because these guys are uh, cold weather predators. I think it's kind of cool too that they add a little bit of gloss black here on the little claws on the back section of the sandals. I guess that's what I'm going to call these. Overall, really love the updated look for him. Oh yeah, also he has his little uh, bone necklace going around his neck here. Kind of forgot about that. It just kind of hangs out and chills on here. You think he would have lost that in the fight though? You think? Yeah, you think the alien would have ripped that off or just something in the scuffle, you know? But I appreciate that it's on the figure still. Then for his articulation, head can look to the left, to the right, which is kind of nice too because on the previous one, had the same articulation, but with all the accessories, like you want to keep the caster on him it popped out really easy well this guy you don't really have to worry about that you can also look up about that far down about that far for his shoulders and go up about that far down about that far this arm you can't really rotate all the way around because of the armor pad but on this one you can rotate all the way around also has a rotation here at the bicep really nice double joint at the elbow which is really nice and you can straighten up about that far rotation here at the forearm Rotation at the hand. Also has a little bit of a pivot to it because it's on a ball joint. First chest can go back about that far. So you kind of get him in a nice roaring pose. Okay, I'm looking down about that far. Also has a little bit of a wiggle to it. Rotate a little bit side to side. Also has a rotation here at the waist. But you can't go too crazy because of the strap here on the back. So messing around with this, you only really want to do it slightly. You just kind of feel for the strap on the back here because you don't want to apply too much pressure there because you'll eventually end up tearing it. For his legs, you can go outwards about that far, inwards about that far, and go forward about yay far, backwards about yay far, as a as a little bit of rotation but nothing crazy at the top part of the thigh. He also has a really nice double joint here at the knee, straighten about that far, as a rotation at the knee. Rotation at the foot can go all the way around. Also has a little bit of a pivot and can go forward and back. And here we have the Grid Alien and the Celtic Predator compared next to their original release, Grid Alien and Celtic Predator. And here's some more obscure Predator and Alien figures from my collection with the Thermal Alien from Alien vs. Predator and the Lava Planet Predator from NECA, which is based off the Kenner figure of the same name. Hey, here they are, some more Alien vs. Predator figures with the Warrior Alien and the Smash Guard Predator. Okay, Steve, wait a minute. You broke the chain, man. Where's the Predator on the other side? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have Predators from other lines other than Kenner. Because what we have here is some McFarlane Alien figures with the Queen from Alien vs. Predator and big chat. So overall, the NECA Alien vs. Predator, Grid, and Celtic Predator Rivalries Reborn 2-Pack. I love these things. I love these things to death. When we first got this, it really looks good in the package, right? I do look into the package. We well, didn't want to open it. Because I already had the previous versions. And now that it's open and we went over it. Oh my god. Yes, I actually now wish I would have kept my other two in the packaging. <laughs> <laughs> because to me, I feel like both of these guys especially the Great Alien in general, are the definitive versions of the characters I wanted to see from the movie. For the Great Alien, I love what they did to update the figure by actually giving us the translucent dome, which I was actually very surprised that that is something that they included, which they could have easily just went with the same dome they had in the previous one. And they actually made it look better. Even with the tail cut off, he still looks good. It's one of the things that make him look good. And now he has that little added detail to him that just really just put the icing on the cake for this guy and he already had awesome articulation going on with him to begin with not just that they actually gave you the tail knife so you can use it yeah which is something i kind of wasn't expecting like they could just throw that thing away i didn't i don't even care that i got one but it's sweet that you did and for the Celtic predator i might have liked to see maybe a little bit more accessories but since he comes with the great alien i'll let it pass easily let it pass because we already had one version that came up previously, so I would like to see new stuff coming with this figure. And I love the added little detail for the scarring on his mask and him missing the armor pieces, just like you would have saw in the movie. He comes with the net, which is something I kind of wish he came with to begin with, instead of the extra throwing disc that everybody came with. Even though this one actually comes with the throwing disc too, but hey, whatever. Him missing a few little things that the previous version came with actually helps this figure. But 
I do appreciate that they left all those things in the back where you can't attach them if you want, you know? Yeah, so if you really want it, you can just go pick up the previous version. So for me, if you haven't picked up any Alien vs. Predator figure yet, you were waiting for maybe them to put out something that really helped you encompass the movie and give you the most bang for your buck. And I feel like that this set is it for you. Oh, for sure. But even if you have picked up the other ones and you wanted the updated version, the better versions, this is it right here. Yes, because now you can have your Celtic Predator standing with his brothers, and now you can also have the Celtic Predator having his fight to the death with the Grid Alien. At least one of them succeeded. <coughs> <laughs> Cough. Alien. So yes, please. Please go buy this. If you love Alien, you love Predator, this needs to be in your collection. Hands down. Which I'm stealing from Steve, by the way, when I leave today. But what do you guys think of the Alien vs. Predator 2 pack? What's your favorite Alien vs. Predator action figure? Is Requiem just more your thing? Please let us know in the comments. Well, a closer picture of these guys on our website if you want to click the link in the description below. We also have our Patreon account if you guys want to help support the channel. Link also in the description below. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today, and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.